Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, in this video we're going to discuss uh, choreography and uh, going through and creating a routine from start to finish. Uh, first things first, you're going to notice that I have resed out my HUD. I have a blank one behind me here um, and I have my animations ready to be loaded in uh, right here from my inventory. Now, first and foremost, what you're going to do is you're going to go and uh, play the song in the background, okay, and then um, you're going to test out these animations by clicking and clicking play in world and see which ones go along with the beat, okay, and you may find some good ones, you may find some that, you, you know, you don't really like that much, uh, and just as you find ones that you like, you just add them into the HUD. Okay, so I'm going to do that now and I'll be right back once I've uh, figured out which dances I want to use. Okay, so now that we have loaded our animations in, uh, and we're sure we have a few that'll work, uh, we're going to go and make sure you uh, load all animations. <coughs> and the reason you do that is to make sure that there's no stops in your routine uh, that are going to mess it up while you're choreographing. Okay, uh, up next, make sure that you do not start your routine at the beginning of the song because there's no way that you're always going to be able to, uh, to know that cue, to click to play it back. So what you want to do is you want to wait until either someone starts singing or so many beats in or whatever is going to work for you for that particular song. All right, so keep an eye out and here we go. I'm going to start playing this song. Alright. Don't even know I can make your hands clap 
is how you choreograph it. Alright, so once you've done that and you've hit the stop button, it's actually going to print out your choreography. And this right here is my sequence. Alright. So, similar to how I showed you, uh, you would create a note. I'm going to name it Hand Clap. Okay. Once I name that, then I'm going to go uh, over here. Keep in mind, you do not want to include this uh, stand one right here or the 49.3. Okay, you want to start with the first letter of the first animation you played all the way to the end. Copy, paste, save. Now, once you've done that, I'm going to take it, edit. All right, wait for that to load there. This is loading. All right, drop the hand clap card or whatever uh, song you'll be choreographing to, and that's going to show up. Okay, now it's very important that you make sure you clear out freestyles uh, because all that clicking and whatnot that of you practicing will show up there. So number nine, clear menu, menu one. Should be nothing in the menu now. Okay. Now we're going to go down here to number six. Load note card. Find our hand clap note card. Okay. And it's going to say the name of the first animation that we uh, played. Okay. Now, if you want to check it out, you can actually go and uh, we can play it again. Now remember, whenever you click the first animation, that's when you have to click start. There you go, and it's going to play back everything in order. Now some of these may be off, so what I can do is, um, when I notice things are off, I can go into the note card and slightly change the numbers. Remember, if you're changing one number up here, you're going to have to add it to a different number so that all of your cues stay the same. Now, I'm going to just stop this here so you can kind of get an idea as to what that was uh, and how that turned out. So, um, <clears throat> there are a few things that you need to watch out for. First off, make sure you do not start your uh, dancing as soon as the song starts. Next thing, if you use a lot of animations, you're going to have to use a slash like that. Okay, if you use, if you don't use that slash, um, it's the, uh, it's like the, it, it tells it to read the next line. You can only read so many lines of, uh, of a note card using a script, but this is pretty much a to be continued. So you, you go on and go on and go on, um. And uh, you can essentially have, like, a four-hour routine if you really wanted to, all right? Uh, but you need to make sure that you add this additional slash in there to make sure that it says to be continued, all right? Uh, there are a few other tips and tricks, but I'm going to actually have a separate video uh, with all kinds of uh, things for doing your choreography and routines and all of that. All right, good luck on your routine, and it, once again, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me in class or even outside of class, and I'll be happy to help.